Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, we have a quick review for you. And judging by how my face looks right now, I am wearing a face sweater. That's because it is cold out. It's the middle of the winter. And besides a face sweater, I'm going to need a coat. Now, you've seen this before. This is a frugal Bond version of the Shanghai Skyfall coat that's become so famous because it's so classic. Uh, it's not just a very Bond-esque coat. It's a very classic coat. Every Every man needs a good pea coat. Why not have the same style that Bond wears? I don't know. Why are you asking me? So we're going to review this next version from Royal Filmware. There's the name and the website right there. You know Daniel Love. Daniel Love is a perfectionist. So even though there's been another version of this out there, it wasn't enough for him. He wanted to get a little bit better. Now, it has the same navy color, the same dark navy color, same weight. Um, but there's been some subtle changes. Now, he even puts out a warning, because he's a fair guy. He's a fan first. If you own his previous version of the Frugal Bond peacoat that you see here, you probably don't need this one, unless it's just going to, like, gnaw at you that this is just a little bit better, a little bit more perfected. But in the strive to always get a little bit better, here it is. Let's go over some of the details. So first of all, as mentioned, the navy color is still the same. It's a very, very dark navy, almost like a midnight blue, but maybe just a shade lighter. So the navy is still the same. What's nice is the hand warmer pockets that you see here are deeper. Uh, before they were a bit shallow, but these go all the way down, which I cannot tell you how much these really help in the colder weather. Sticking your hands way down and letting the wool kind of cover them up. From a detail standpoint, the leather on the back has been improved. So it is a black leather that has a certain wearing to it, if you will, kind of a crackling just like in the original. Nice detail and you can see some of the stitch line detail that you see on this as well. Again, no path left untaken. Now this is where things get interesting. So you can make through the armhole that there is a better shape to this jacket than the previous one. It kind of kicks out a bit at the hips, just like the original. And what I really like is the button positioning itself has now become higher. So the button positioning making it higher makes it fasten a little bit higher, gives it a certain sleekness to it that the original has as well. Well, you knew this was going to happen. We have to try this on, right? So here it is on me. Now let's talk about sizing. Uh, this is a small right here, and I did originally think a small was going to fit me, but this is the medium. It is a much better fit than the small. Trust me, you don't want to see me in there. It looks like an overstuffed sausage. So what was interesting about this is it has the same sizing as his latest version of the Harrington jacket. So I'm a, I'm a 48 to a 50 on a good day, but mostly a 48 in my blazer and suit jackets and coats. Um, usually take a medium in a coat. This medium fit me perfectly, and you can see that it does. So um, I'll stand to the side. You can see that um, it's not too big and it's not too small, so I have room. I have room for a jumper slash sweater, maybe even two layers underneath it, but not so much that it's not going to look fitted. And you can see that flare that we were talking about before. You see how it's kind of like, kind of belling, like hourglassing out? That is a nice trim cut. It's almost like uh, the Anthony Sinclair conduit cut of the suit. Um, it's got a nice break here at mid thigh or even like a little bit upper thigh. Uh, the sleeves, we've got to talk about the sleeves. So the sleeves are nice and trim. They're not, um, you know, billowing out or anything like that. The armholes are nice and high. Kind of this almost like mock roping shoulder at the top keeps it really high, that military look. Now, you can see that I'm playing with this collar right here. This is just my helpful hint. Call this a life hack, if you will, if you get one of these coats. So when you get them, it comes in a box about yay big, okay? And the reason it comes in a box yay big as opposed to yay big is to save you on shipping so you don't get gouged because uh, this is coming from Australia. So when you get this, you've got to train it. What do I mean by training it? Well, this is a, a wool blend, mostly wool. And so what happens is you've got to train this. Um, you've got to kind of shape it a little bit. My collar, this is kind of brand new out of the box, so you can see a little bit of 
uh, puckering and wrinkling around the wool, that will straighten out very quickly. Even just the, the relative humidity in the air will help straighten it out. You don't want to over wet wool and then dry it, shrinkage issues, all that stuff. But you want to train it. And it's like any good piece of clothing, you want it to conform to your body. So what I'm constantly doing, I find myself, is training the collar because I want that nice pop that he had in Skyfall in Shanghai. And I want the lapels to kind of drape down like that. It'll get there. It's not there right now, and that's why you see me kind of fidgeting a little bit. But love the jacket. I'm a huge fan of Daniel's. He's constantly improving. He's got some amazing things coming in 2017, so watch this space. This is just a quick review. By the way, here's the back. Got to show you the back. Very comfortable. Good arm movement, right? I mean, come on. Look at that. Uh, driving a car. Uh, no problem at all, obviously. Flagging somebody down, hanging from a skyscraper, from an elevator. Yep, you could do it. Uh, but this is the type of thing where you don't have to be precious with it. It's a frugal bond. Um, if you're looking for this type of look, look no further. So here's the website once again. This has been David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience for a quick review of the new version of the Shanghai Peacoat, Frugal Bond. Wow, that's a mouthful. We'll talk to you very soon. Take care.